What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video of Yes, I Said It, okay? So today I'm talking about Stacy Dash, as you can tell by the title. Honey, she is a mess. So Stacy is going viral after an interview with the Daily Mail. The angry, conservative black woman. And at that time in my life, it was uh, who I was. And I realized in 2016, that anger is unsustainable and it will destroy you. And you know, what people don't know is that I made a lot of mistakes. And because of that anger, being a supporter of Trump, you know, has put me in some kind of box that I do not belong in. I don't hate anyone. I don't, you know, I don't know where that comes from, and well, I, he's not the president, <laughs> so I'm going to give the president that we have right now a chance. Okay, so back in 2012, Stacey Dash switched political parties affiliation from Democrats to Republican and even endorsed Republican presidential nominees like Matt Romney over Barack Obama. Over time, Stacey started becoming rude, hateful, and ignorant when expressing her views as a bigot, I mean Republican. Every time she opened her mouth, nothing positive was being said. She talked bad about immigrants, the LGBT community, and people of color she was insensitive and racist with her words and i don't know how she's gonna come back from that it's funny how she is now stepping out of the political limelight and apologizing after ex-president trump is no longer our president stacy dash is backpedaling on her words in hopes of being accepted by the black community stacy dash can eat a dick Stacey Dash even said she wants to start dating black men now. I guess after she went to jail for domestic violence against her fourth husband of no color, now Stacey wants to switch back over to dating black men. But I believe one of these black men will date her if given the opportunity, like Kevin Samuels, who said he is infatuated with Stacey Dash. <laughs> I'll be in L.A. in a couple of weeks. And uh, if you want to get some rehab, <laughs> oh, I got a digging stick for you. <laughs> no cap. For real, for real. So, she, Stacey, you get that message? Mm hmm You can call it what you want to. Selma High, Stacey Dash, one and two on the bucket list. Yes, sir. We ain't got to be friends. We just got to get it in. Oh, Jesus Christ. But let's move on. But when Stacey Dash got arrested, she checked off the I'm white box, okay? And people had a problem with that, but I didn't because she is mixed. Her mother is Mexican-American. But what I do have a problem with is people claiming their black side when it's convenient for them. Like, no, you picked your side. But my thing is, why did she have to say she was an angry black woman? Why does color have to come and play? Why not an angry delusional woman it's like there she go again adding black people in her nonsense but the question i have is who is she angry at i'm confused by that part because the black community supported stacy dash and she turned her back on her black supporters who was with her from day one but anyhow stacy dash was right on board with all those fake pastors who was praying to the devil and thought trump was going to win the election yeah, he's going to be president. Mickey Mouse is going to be king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stacey Dash, girl, it's too late to come back and revert back on the filthy things you have said about people of no color. Either we want to have segregation or integration. If we don't want segregation, then we need to get rid of channels like BET and the BET Awards. There shouldn't be a Black History Month. I cannot wait to help my people out. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> 
But that's what these celebrities do. Once they reach a certain status, then they switch up and turn their backs on the black community that have supported them from the very beginning, like Lil Wayne, Terry Crews, Kanye West, Amarosa, and the non-celebrities like Candace Owens, who is another one who is going to have to learn the hard way, like Amarosa did. Because do you all remember when Trump and Amarosa was so close? They were very good friends. But as soon as Trump became the president, he kicked Amarosa out of the White House like it was nothing. Like he did not even know her. Like who is she? Where? What? I don't know that lady. Okay. But I say it all the time. You are not the victim until you become the victim. Okay. Some people got to learn the hard way. But Stacey Dash is a bigot who looks in the mirror and wishes she was a white woman. Okay. Stacey is not sorry for her words. She is just sorry she is on the losing team. But when you pick the wrong side, it's hard to come back from it. I would not be surprised if I see her on Oprah or Ayala Fix My Life with the fake sober stories and fake tears looking pity. Okay, but listen, for me, your black heart will still be revoked. Okay, then I read some of the comments that said we should forgive her because she was being paid by Fox News news and the Republican to say those things. I don't know, but I do know that when a person show you who they are, believe it, okay? And those words was flowing off her lips too easy. <laughs> but now that Stacey Dash's services is no longer needed, okay, by the Republicans, and Candace Owens is now the new puppet and the replacement for Stacey Dash, we now see Stacey with the fake crying on TV like they all do. But listen, overall, the decisions you make in life have an effect on your future. And with that being said, Stacey Dash, you are still not invited to the cookout. <laughs> you guys, make sure you comment, subscribe, and come on back for more because I am out. Peace.